the uh, car again. Just going to show you, we of course did a lot of work while well, I didn't have a camera. So there's been a lot of changes. So I'm just going to get generator going and uh, I put some lights up. You'll see what we get. And anyways, I'll show you. Anyways, there's the generator. Added a uh, muffler from a Honda outside of it, quieting it up. You'll see a difference. I got some video with it uh, on and off. So made it. So I'll cut this for now. There's Sandra out doing some mowing with a rider. And here's my extra muffler on my generator. Makes it pretty damn quiet. <laughs> Not too bad. Take a look around what we did while we were here before. Let me get the flashlight or the light in here. Yeah, right here. Okay, we didn't leave it on, hopefully. No, okay. There you go, okay, if you look. Got in here, got the floor all out. There's all the pieces. It's not too bad. It just is a little, little worn. Back up in here is not too bad. Got some more stuff to come out of here, but that general, pretty good. Got that out. You can see the floor is a little damaged over here. But overall, not too bad on the floor. We're expecting this. It's nice because, of course, being what it is, I can get uh, brand new floor panels for it, no problem. Let's look at this side. And I just tested the new master cylinder going in here. And uh, you can see our spindle down here. Just gonna clean this off, get some old grease out of here. And it checks the front end, checks out pretty good. Place the fuel line and the brake line. I have a complete set of both. And I'll take the stuff off the edge. We're gonna get this off today. Plate here. And uh, I also got around this side. We're gonna take the header bolts off of here. Get the, uh, <laughs> get the, this, uh, skip plate off the front. I guess the gravel guard. The other side of the engine, pretty clear. What we can get, I haven't looked in there before yet. That's interesting. Your core's right there. Very <laughs> stuffed in here, eh? Oh, what the nasty is in there, man. Clean up inside these things, that's for sure. A little bit of floor around the tow board there. Now you can see it. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. But at least what I can tell. So, we'll be doing this a bit more. A uh, bit more work on it today. So you got the hood off. Now we gotta take this in. You see the underside here? That's never seen uh, sunlight. So, we'll take a shot under here to get the color since I can't see them match up the paint and uh, get a paint match and then we can repair this thing here get this fixed and we won't have a uh, the hood will up and close properly very nice so that's a basically an update on what we've done and uh, if we do a little more we'll show you a bit more so that's pretty well what's up see the <laughs> Yeah, the rocker panel here is a little rough. But overall, really impressed the quality and how good everything is. Just doesn't look bad. <laughs> Could be a lot worse. Yeah, that's a pretty big hole there. <laughs> also about where the exhaust ends, I think. Let's see. So I guess the mouses are trying to make another nest here. <laughs> Uh, 
buggers. They'll get you anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, that's the okay. That's not too bad. The roof is done. See up here. Got the headliner out. Gonna be a lot of work from a POR. Fix all this up. That's for sure. I don't know why that one's so straight. Oh, it must be up here. Just drop down. Anyways, see how that goes. Pretty good. <laughs> Off. The fuck's all that on there? Got it. Yeah, definitely got it. We can do here. Yeah, they come out pretty good. That's what the other one does, it's nice. Well, wow, look at that nut. Throw on this engine, brass nut, copper nut, but on this engine for 66 years. Look at it. That's crazy. Well, looking at this, I think it needs some new motor mounts. <laughs> hey, what do you think? That don't look too healthy. Well, the other side. Yeah, every bit is bad. <laughs> Nothing worse than this. I'll get a little bolt a half a turn at a time and it's long. There we go. Get this going. They do it with this one, but not the other one. That's really weird. Just the angle, I guess. <laughs> there we 
There we go. Get this out of here. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's done for the day. Seems like the audio is getting me okay. So, we're going to show you guys what we've been doing. Got the uh, whole front end off here. Dad got off the rad mount, uh, rad mount brace or whatever you call it. And uh, just been uh, trying to get out this panel. So you can see the car has been up to the dirt pretty deep. You can see it all in there. And then it's also inside the uh, channel there so we had to scrape it out and we just sprayed some penetrating fluid on it. Hopefully that'll loosen her up. So we've got the brake back and plate off this side too. And uh, this side needs kingpins. You notice to see if uh get the focus there yet. Let's see if you can even hear. So we'll get to do that. That'll be a nice little treat. Next, we're going to pop off the sway bar and uh, along with the, the bottom panel here. And we can really start degreasing this frame and then wire wheeling it. Get the uh, manifolds off here and we can uh, get at the side of the engine because the plan is to get the frame painted, engine painted, and uh, yeah, change gaskets while it's out or while it's uh, accessible. And then do things like the kingpins, the upper control arm, the lower control arm bushings, and uh, yeah. Otherwise, we like the firewall, like its original color, 
hoping that there's some stuff like this will come out and uh, we can shine it up a little bit. We're going to have to paint uh, down here on the floor, but that's okay. Uh, I'll show you uh, inside here. Not sure in previous videos if you got the seat is out, but you can see it is. And uh, we also took out the headliner, which uh, hopefully you can see. Oh yeah, you can see. Nice and rusty, so that'll be another uh, soon project because we're going to paint all the ceiling. And then uh, Dad's just picking up the four pans. And we're going to be doing that probably when we bring it to the house. I'll show you there. Still have to take the back seat out, but for now it's just holding some of the parts. And uh, yeah, it's actually it looks a lot nicer in here as far as being less gross. So we like that. You see we got the hood off. So that's just the uh, 53 for the moment. Hopefully you can hear me over the generator. And uh, uh, Dad will shut it off. So There you go. And our lights go out. But Dad also took off the uh, wiring off the engine. So we can actually wire wheel all of that not looking too bad this side's kingpins feel good we may still change them too we'll see and then uh, probably because they're a pair yeah you can see floor pans not so nice but actually the uh, body mounts are and uh, surprisingly good so we're not worried about the pans that's not as bad as the, the Chevy truck really and we're just right now We'll be patching up the front fenders and the uh, passenger side inner fender. You can hear our nice uh, ceiling. The roof is in need of a bit of repair. So, lots done, but lots still to do. But, uh, that's where we're at. <laughs>